Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Mabon, also known as the Autumnal Equinox, is the second harvest festival of the year, celebrated in late September. Here are some ways to celebrate the season. Let's do some magical crafting. There are a number of ways that you can celebrate the season or the day. Please feel free to use the suggestions that resonate with you and that work best with your space and your schedule. As always, you can take some of these ideas and customize them to fit your traditions and practices. You can celebrate the day or the season in general in the weeks leading up to and following the holiday. Welcome to Mabon. The days are getting cooler, and it's the time of the second harvest. The focus is on berries, grapes, and apples, and all of the other mid-harvest crops. Mabon is an equinox when the day and nights are the same length. The holiday celebrates the second harvest and the start of winter preparations. It's the time to respect the impending dark while giving thanks to the sunlight. From ancient Greece to modern Oktoberfests, this season has been celebrated down through the ages. If you wish to have a religious celebration and honor gods and goddesses, there are several deities that relate strongly to this time of year. You may wish to celebrate gods associated with wine and growing things. Mabon is associated with grapes and vineyards, and especially with the making and drinking of wine. Many deities relate to wine, including Bacchus, Dionysus, Osiris, Jesus, and many, many more. Decorate your altar in green and purple. Include bunches of grapes and wreaths or garlands of grape leaves. Celebrate with wine or grape juice and ritual. Grains such as wheat, corn, and soybeans are being harvested in many areas. You may wish to honor harvest deities. The Eleusinian Mysteries are celebrated annually in the month of September. The central figures of that worship are the Greek goddesses Demeter and Persephone. Each fall, Persephone descends to rule the underworld beside her husband Hades. Her mother, Demeter, is the goddess of agriculture. While she mourns the loss of her daughter, the earth becomes cold and barren, and all growing things die. Demeter and Persephone are reunited in the spring, and the plants and flowers begin the cycle of growth and rebirth again. Decorate your altar with brown and gold for Demeter, black and red for Persephone. Offerings to Demeter may consist of apples or bread, which are the fruits of life and a pomegranate for Persephone, which is the fruit of death. Another way to celebrate the season is to focus on apples, grapes, and berries. You may wish to visit an apple orchard and pick apples. This is a wonderful activity to spend time in nature and ground yourself among the earth and the growing things. Or spend some time this holiday baking an apple pie or consider making apple preserves. And of course, apple cider is a lovely beverage to enjoy on Maybon. The last of the berry harvest is being brought in, and a popular pastime for many kitchen witches is to make jams and jellies from the harvest bounty to put aside for the coming winter. Raspberry, blackberry, and elderberry syrups and preserves are made during the season. Another way to ground yourself and spend time in nature is to tour a winery or a vineyard. This holiday is a time to celebrate the grape. You may wish to make wine or grape dishes. And don't forget the plum and grape jelly. You can also use grape leaves and vines to craft garlands or wreaths. A fun magical craft is to twine grape vines, ivy, or other vines that are local to your area or climate into wreaths. I have a separate video on grapevine and leaf crafting, and I'll link to it below. The Maybon season is primarily one of harvest and thanksgiving, and a time of rejoicing in the bounty of the season as the earth prepares to enter her long slumber. As a harvest festival, Maybon is linked to abundance and prosperity, 
Farmers are reaping grain and picking the bountiful fall fruits, all the food that will sustain people through the long cold winter. If your larder is full and you are feeling gratitude for your abundance, you may wish to celebrate by hosting or participating in a food drive to fill up someone else's pantry this season. The Maybon season is the time to celebrate hearth and home. You may be bringing out warmer clothing, blankets, and comforters for the colder portion of the year. Many people associate cleaning house with springtime, but autumn is also a good time to clean and prepare for the winter. I like to deep clean my home on each equinox. Do your cleaning process mindfully. Count each blessing and give thanks for all that you have as you clean. Open windows to clear out any stale energy and wash the doors. As you deep clean your space, consider how you can share your abundance. You may wish to set aside and donate clothing and other household goods to a shelter or a charity. While cleaning the house physically, it's also a good time to clean house spiritually. Use your favorite method to energetically cleanse your home. Smoke cleansing, sound cleansing, you can use essential oils or magic washes. You may wish to consecrate your cleaning supplies to add extra protection and prosperity to your home. The autumnal equinox is the perfect time to do spell work for home protection. You may wish to add some salt or black salt outside your entrances and ground floor windows. I have a separate video on how to make black salt and I'll link to it below. Another way to protect your home is to use fiery wall of protection oil. This will create a barrier of protection between yourself or your home and unwanted visitors. As we move towards Samhain and the thinning of the veil, it can be a good time to add warding to your space. As the wheel of the year comes to an end, Maybon is a good time to set intentions and do spell work that involves decrease and reduction. This can be a good time to do magical workings related to ending bad relationships, unhealthy activities, or self-destructive habits. The Maybon season is a time to look back. It's also a time to plan for the upcoming year. One way to do both of these things is through journaling. The first step is to look back. If you have old journals, this is a good time to start reviewing old entries. You may also wish to reread books you enjoyed or found informative this year. If you keep information on past readings, you may want to look back at past tarot, oracle, or other divination readings from the past year. Find a quiet space to meditate and journal about the past year and your victories and your defeats. Take the time to be raw and honest with yourself. Maybon is a great time to release the baggage of the past year. Autumn is also a good time to think about long-term plans and what you want to achieve in the next four quarters of the year. Make goals for the next year and develop a plan to do so. Another way to celebrate the season is to prepare foods of the season or host a Maybon feast or potluck. Traditional Maybon foods include seasonal vegetables such as squash, carrots, and potatoes. Also, fresh corn and sweet potatoes. Roasted meats are popular, so if you eat meat, a Maybon stew is a traditional way to celebrate. Seasonal fruits include apples, grapes, plums, and berries. This holiday is also associated with nuts and pomegranate seeds. Nuts are a characteristic fall food. Walnuts, pecans, and hazelnuts are popular during this season. Consider baking a nut bread to celebrate, or bake a pecan pie. And as the evenings get colder, it may be time to roast some chestnuts. Pomegranate is the fruit of death, which Hades fed to his queen Persephone so that she would return to help him rule the underworld. You can serve this fruit whole so that the seeds can be eaten, or consider adding pomegranate juice to your Maybon feast, or serving pomegranate sorbet as dessert. Grapes and wine honor Bacchus, Dionysus, and other deities of fermentation and revelry. 
celebrate Maybon with wine and a selection of cheeses, or serve wine at a gathering or potluck. A fun way to celebrate the harvest is to craft a corn dolly. Traditional European corn dollies are woven from wheat, barley, rye, or oat straw, but they can also be made from corn husks. I have a separate video on how to make a corn husk dolly, and I'll link to it below. Traditionally, the spirit of the grain lives in the fields with the crops, and so it is that once all the crops are brought in, she no longer has a home. And so we use the last sheaves that were reaped to make a corn dolly to embody and honor her spirit. Keep her warm and safe in a place of honor in your home all winter. Another way to celebrate the season is to decorate your home, altar, or sacred space with autumnal themes. If you're feeling crafty, you may wish to create a maybon wreath or broom, or decorate candle holders with autumn leaves. I have a separate video on crafting a maybon wreath, and I'll link to it below. Maybon's colors are those of autumn leaves, red, orange, yellow, and brown, the gold, blonde, and russet tones of ripe grain, burgundy, maroon, and purple of wine and grapes. Maybon greens are forest, olive, and pine. A popular decoration and symbol of this season is the cornucopia, or horn of plenty. You can also decorate with pumpkins, pine cones, nuts, and seeds. Popular foods to place on your altar or offer to deities include corn, beans, squash, apples, pumpkins, cider, pomegranates, and wine. The crystals and stones that correspond to the season are amber, citrine, cat's eye, and red jasper. You may wish to craft magical jewelry to wear during the Maybon season. Jewelry making is one of my favorite magical crafts. Some other seasonal correspondences are flowers, including chrysanthemums and marigolds, which bloom in golds and red, zinnias, sunflowers, and thistle. And animals, including the owl, the stag, the blackbird, and the salmon. Another way to celebrate the season is to honor the darkness. Maybon is the second of the harvest festivals and can be a time to retreat further into reflection as you prepare for Samhain and winter that will follow. It's also a time of balance because it falls on the equinox when the light and dark are in equal portions. This is a time to go within and to seek balance within ourselves. You may wish to light candles to illuminate the darkness, play some music or journal about balance, and give thanks for the things that you have. Take time to reflect on the balance within your own life, honoring both the darkness and the light. You may wish to spend time in shadow work or begin a book of shadows or a book of mirrors. You may wish to work with the dark goddess energies of the season. Honor the dark mother at Maybon. It's a time when the earth is dying a little each day, and we welcome the harvest. But we also realize that the long nights of winter aren't far off. You can honor the goddess in her aspect of crone. The dark goddess archetype is a rich combination of the crone, wild magic, and the intuitive subconscious. She is Baba Yaga, Persephone, Hecate, Lilith, Hell, Kalima, the Morrigan, and many, many more. They are the aged, the hidden, and the untamed energies. They are also transformative, and Maybon is their season. Many magical traditions honor a goddess associated with darkness and shadows, and they're sometimes called upon in ritual to help a practitioner heal from trauma or fear. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to celebrate the season. No matter how you celebrate, I hope you all have a blessed Maybon season filled with abundance and gratitude. May the gods and goddesses of wine and the harvest bring you celebration and bounty and have a blessed Maybon.